Padre Pio was a man of great humility and love for God. He was also a man of great mystery. Considering the vast number of miracles surrounding Padre Pio, one might ask if there was ever anything Our Lady and Our Lord denied Padre Pio. Well, in fact, he had a prayer that was never answered. In this video, we explore this unanswered prayer and what it can teach us about faith, trust, and God's will. Welcome back to our YouTube channel Following Padre Pio. If you're new to our channel, Padre Pio was a Capuchin friar, mystic, and miracle worker whose intercession is still very powerful and active today. We publish videos and shorts five days a week, so follow us to find out more about the life of this fascinating saint and you will be amazed at what Padre Pio can do for you, a family member, or a friend. And now to our story. Today's video is about a personal prayer from Padre Pio to Our Lady of Pompeii that he was never granted. Now, if you've been following this channel or know about Padre Pio from other sources, then you certainly know about the miracles that happened because of Padre Pio's intercession. His prayer was powerful, so powerful that the blind would gain sight, cancer would disappear, and most importantly, people would repent for their sins and start a new life. However, despite the many prayers answered through Padre Pio's intercession, Padre Pio had a specific request, a prayer for himself personally that was never answered. On three separate occasions, Padre Pio made pilgrimages to the shrine of the Virgin of the Rosary of Pompeii, to whom he held a deep devotion. He made his first pilgrimage when he was just 14 years old, before joining the novitiate. The second time was 10 years later when he was holiday Capuchin friar residing in the convent in Venafro. And the final time was six years after that. Throughout his life, Padre Pio made countless novenas to Our Lady of Pompeii. So these trips to her shrine held a deep significance to him. Whenever he needed a special grace for himself or for someone else, he would frequently ask people to pray to Our Lady of Pompeii for his intentions. Now through Padre Pio's frequent novenas to Our Lady of Pompeii, he would request things he considered of greater importance. Among these were three personal requests he made during his lifetime, and he says that only two of them were answered. The first request Padre Pio directed to Our Lady of Pompeii was for his return to religious life. There was a time when Padre Pio was constantly ill with some strange disease that sometimes forced him to stay in bed for days. He would be so sick that he couldn't complete his religious duties. So he prayed for three years before his prayer was finally answered. The second request directed to Our Lady of Pompeii was for his definite release from the army. This was, of course, during World War I, when many young men were drafted into the army, including religious brothers. During this time, Padre Pio wrote a letter to Father Agostino of San Marco in La Mis, asking him to pray for his intentions. I ask you, Father, a favor, the charity of starting three novenas to the Lady of Pompeii with your daily prayer of the rosary during this period. And as we know, this prayer was also answered, and Padre Pio did not have to continue with his military service. Now, despite the favorable outcomes of these first two requests, his third petition was never answered. It was a rather uncommon request, to die at a young age, to be granted passage to heaven while still young. He shared this deep personal desire with one of the religious brothers in 1960, stating, I prayed for 35 years a novena to the Lady of Pompeii, asking for the grace that she would take me to paradise. But after 35 years, I gave up. His fellow brother seemed surprised to hear Padre Pio had given up on his prayer. So Padre Pio continued, My son, I asked the grace from Our Lady 
to allow me to die young, but she did not listen to me. And when a mother will not listen to you, there is nothing else you can do. End of story. Well, I must admit that I am glad Potter Peel's request to die young was not granted. But if you ever wondered, when is a good time to stop praying for something, well, Potter Peel felt 35 years would be enough. Now, I don't know about you, but this story serves as a lecture to me personally to be patient when waiting for my prayers to be answered. This brings me to wonder, have you, our viewers, ever waited for a long time for a prayer to be answered? If you have, please share your story in the comment section below. Thank you for listening. Please do share this video to help our channel grow. And please, give our channel a boost by continuing to watch another video. This will help with the YouTube algorithm. I have recommended some videos especially chosen for you on the end screen. Or just click on one of the links in the description below for a full selection of great Padre Pio stories or our playlist Padre Pio Thoughts for the Day. And don't forget to enroll your Mass intentions for next Friday's Padre Pio Holy Mass. You will find the link in the description below. And stay tuned for the next video on the life of Padre Pio.